to spend this morning with one of the greatest artists of my industry. And in the words of Bridget Jones, I got a little bit of a crush. Hi, you. Hey, Kate. What a wonderful day. How are you? In a musical career spanning 28 years, Katie Lang has seen and done it all. Her soaring voice and beautiful music can be summed up by Madonna's famous quote about her, Elvis is alive and she's beautiful. It's actually quite a treat for me because now you're going to get to show me around Melbourne. Well, I'm not going to show you around Melbourne, but I'm going to show you what I love about Melbourne. KD has been to Melbourne countless times and basically regards it as a second home. I've been coming here for years and when, my first time I came here, it's really just about the downtime and having time to walk around the city and I just automatically felt comfortable. And rumour has it, you know, you might want to kind of end up living in a yeah, place like this. Definitely, maybe. I can see myself living in Melbourne half the time. So I've written about Melbourne, I've sung a Melbourne song. I'll return from the streets of Melbourne. Today we are in the inner city area of Fitzroy, a suburb that Katie has fallen in love with. The thing that I love about Melbourne, it's one of my favourite cities in the world, and it's because it's a great walking city. And just the street art alone is, is, is so indicative of the amount of artists and artistry that's going on here, the culture, the street culture, it just seems so fresh and so vibrant. Oh, sweet thing, you're just like a sugar bar. KD really does know Melbourne. She's even showing me some places in my hometown I didn't know existed. Hello. Hi, you must Abla. be Abla. Yes, <laughs> Abla's Lebanese restaurant in Carlton is a Melbourne institution, serving up the most delicious hummus and baba ghanoush for 32 years. I always think, actually, that good singers, they eat because mm -hmm. the same passion it's in eating. It is in singing. Of course it is. Of yeah. course. And then you know what? When skinny people... skinny girls can't sing. A damn straight. I'm with you. Even when you're musical royalty, a visit to Melbourne would not be complete without a trip on a Melbourne tram. Katie has just released her 13th studio album, Sing It Loud, and in a tribute to her adopted home of Australia, she's even done a cover of a Little River Band song. It was late, I got home. What is it? Friday night, it was late, I was walking you home. We got down to the gate. I was dreaming of the night. Oh, would it turn out right? How to tell you, girl. I want to build my world around you. Tell you that it's true. <laughs> <laughs> on the tram. How cool is that? OK, I could die right now and I'd be the happiest girl in Melbourne. <laughs> For one more place, and it's a favourite for both of us. <laughs> awesome. It's wonderful, isn't it? And ever since, like, I was a little, little girl, and I mean, you know, six or seven. Wow. I used to come here with my mother and her mother. Almost lifts you up. It does. Yeah. It's, it's completely uplifting and aspirational. And that you can here, come with me. I'm going to take you to do something. All right, all right, all right, all right. I can't imagine. Well, you know, all I'm going to do is ask you to lie on the ground because oh, this is me. That's easy. This is me. <laughs> this is what you did when you were little? Yeah. The ceiling of the Great Hall at the National Gallery of Victoria is one of the largest glass ceilings in the world. It is a work of art in itself and an appropriate place to ask Katie why she thinks her career has endured. Because I can't do anything. <laughs> what else would you have done if you hadn't sung? I would have either been a painter or a chef. Right. I think. I'd like to be a painter. But, you know, life is long. I've got a lot of years left. Yeah. But, but I, I'd like to sing for the rest of my life, I think. Hallelujah. 